Hello, Greek students, and welcome to week two in our class. You made it through week one. Congratulations. Only 16 more weeks to go. Uh, you've got the Greek alphabet down. You know some things about the basics of the Greek verbal system. You know that Greek is a highly inflected language, and you're probably never going to hear that again. Uh, and this week, we move on to... Uh, getting actually into Greek verbs and into some Greek nouns. And the end result will be that by the end of the second video and the end of the second le uh, second lesson from Black's Grammar, you'll be able to translate very simple Greek sentences. So as to our objectives for this week, what do we have going on? The first thing is to introduce the present and future active indicative. So two of the Greek verbal systems. Uh, you're going to be asked to memorize the present active indicative, the forms of the present active indicative that is. So here it is, memorize the present active indicative paradigm of the verb luo. Luo is the sort of basic verb uh, stem on which we're going to be memorizing all of the different forms. And you're also going to be memorizing what is the, called the present active paradigm of a me. So luo is what is represents what's called the omega conjugation, and a me represents what is called the me conjugation. We are also going to introduce Greek nouns and the second declension. This is particularly in chapter four of uh, Black's Grammar, and you are going to be asked to memorize the second declension paradigms uh, or forms of anthropos, which means human, and doron, which means gift. So what I really want you to be able to focus in on and take note of here and now is those things that you're going to be asked to memorize, because those are the things, uh, should you memorize them, they're going to set you up really well for success, not only on the quizzes and the homework assignments and everything else in this class uh, or for this week, but also the class uh, moving forward. So those are the objectives, sort of the learning things, the, the what we might say are the top five things you might want to learn uh, in the class for this week. But we also have some things that you need to be doing to engage the material for this week. One is to complete the first homework for the week and also the second homework for the week. And then the, uh, the vocabulary quiz and the grammar quiz. And I want to make a couple comments about the vocabulary quiz and the grammar quiz so that you know this information sort of ahead of time uh, at the start of the week. The vocabulary quiz is going to be 20 questions. It's going to give you the Greek word and ask you to supply the English word. When it comes to verbs, uh, you you want to say uh, you want to supply the verb in its present form, present tense form. Uh, so, for example, I loose or I release. If it is a present tense verb uh, that's given on the vocabulary exam, but if it is a future tense verb, you will want to provide I will loose uh, that you will give the respective present tense or future tense when you supply the English. And so for these vocabulary quizzes, I will only ask you to go one way, that is from Greek to English. I will never ask you to uh, provide the Greek word for an English word. That's a little bit harder of, of a task. Uh, if we were doing a year-long Greek class, I might ask you to do that. Um, but for the sake of making things manageable for you and not trying to uh, to crowd your brains too much, we'll only go from Greek to English. And then as far as the grammar quiz, there uh, I'm going to tell you very explicitly, and I have already told you uh, previously in this introduction, the things that you'll be memorizing for this week. And then I will list those again uh, on the quiz description so that you know the things that you will have to memorize. And those things that you have to memorize, you will be asked to provide a Greek form of them. So to type in Greek, the, the form that I am asking for. For the things that you do not have to memorize uh, that the quiz addresses, and I also name what those are in the quiz description, you will be given multiple choice questions. Um, so part of the quiz is going to ask you multiple choice sort of identification questions. And the other part of the quiz is going to ask you to recall that memorization. So the memorization is going to be important insofar as you're going to be asked to reproduce things on the quiz, but also if you memorize these forms, that's going to set you up to know uh, the the multiple choice answers as as well. And so far as some of the multiple choice questions will be on the same material that you memorize. So I can't stress uh, enough that the memorization, the things that I ask you to memorize, 
uh, for this week and for every week are are of paramount importance. And the, one of the really great things about Black's grammar is he does a good job of keeping memorization uh, as minimal as possible. A lot of other grammars are going to ask you to memorize all kinds of paradigms, uh, but, but Black does a good job of sort of making sure that you are uh, getting the most bang for your buck as far as memorization goes. So I would encourage you to really work on those whiteboards with uh, with memorizing paradigms, really be working on the flashcards for the vocabulary memorization. Should you be doing those things, you'll be set up to do well on the exam uh, on the, the quizzes. And as a reminder, uh, the quizzes are pass fail at an 80% threshold and you get to take each quiz two times. So if you don't pass it on the first time, you will find uh, that the quiz indicates for you which questions you got wrong so that you can then go back and sort of check the answers uh, for those questions for when you go back and take the quiz again. I ask, of course, that you not use uh, materials on either the first attempt or the second attempt, but you will know what you got wrong and you will be able to self-correct yourself. Uh, and one final reminder, if there are any issues with the automatic grading of these quizzes, you should contact me. Uh, I am not at all going to be offended if something goes wrong in the automatic grading uh, and you are knocked down and you want the points that you rightfully earned. So by all means, if you feel like there's some issue with the automatic grading, send me an email about it and I'll get it fixed for you. Great. I will see you in the course and good luck this week.